Here in the Mahoning Valley, always, we've had an awful lot of excellent musicians. Individuals who will sing, who will play various instruments, who, who will write. My guest today is into the production end of music, as well as some writing and some singing. My guest on this occasion is Gerald Bueller. Gerald is the president of TJ Enterprises. The record company is Chocolate Pluff Records Incorporated. Chocolate Pulse. Pa Chocolate Pulse Records Incorporated. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure to have you. Pleasure to be here. You're here today because of a phone call you made. You made a sure. phone call to me several weeks ago, and you stated that you had produced a record. You were in the process of trying to get various record stations in Northeast Ohio to play it. My first thought on the subject was another youngster into <laughs> rap music. Yeah. I'll state that rap music for the most part is not to my liking. Simply don't understand all the words being spoken. Right. You came down to the station. You brought with you this specific cassette. Mm -hmm. On this specific cassette was one song. Right. That song I thought to be ideal for this the Mahoney Valley, for this the city of Youngstown, at this time in our history. Yes. Tell us about the specific song that you have written on this specific cassette. <sighs> okay, well, the, the song was not entirely written by me. It was written by a Robert Christian Jr. and uh, a rapper who goes by the name of Funky D. And uh, it's called Black on Black, and it addresses black on black crime as it affects not only Youngstown, but the United States. Uh, we're seeing a lot of black on black crime, which we feel as musicians that we could say something about this, which would be beneficial to those coming behind us because uh, we really believe that uh, for whatever reasons, uh, drugs, what have you, uh, one black person killing another black person over such trivial things, you know, should be abandoned and stopped. I mean, we should be loving each other. We should be uh, trying to rebuild our communities and not tearing them down. And uh, the song addresses that, you know. The first time you and I talked, you stated after our conversation, you were on your way to Cleveland to get yeah. a couple of stations there to play your music. Yes. Were you successful? Uh, somewhat successful. Um, I got to talk to Bobby Rush from uh, WZAK, who um, they played the uh, song uh, Lady Skill from uh, WCSB on uh, Cleveland State Broadcasting. Uh, they were interested in the song. I also picked up a couple of stores while I was, I was down there. Um, here in Youngstown, uh, WHOT was very supportive of us. I talked to uh, Dick Thompson. Uh, we uh, won the Battle of the Jams during the uh, week of uh, Labor Day. Uh, we won twice, beating out Belle Biv DeVoe people. So, you know, it was uh, pretty good, pretty good. The response has been very positive. Uh, there's a lot of people that's into the song now. As you were saying about um, rap music, um, I would notice that uh, people would come up, I'd say, well, I have this tape for sale, you know, we're doing this, and uh, we're getting ready to go into the uh, public school systems to talk about uh, black on black crime, drug awareness. And uh, the first thing someone would say, well, I don't like rap, you know. That's, I can't get into rap. And uh, I think that this particular song, if you're not into rap music, that this song is the best thing that you can have in your collection because it's not typical of anything that you've ever heard. It's not hip hop, it's not uh, negative, it's not uh, using uh, profanity, it's very positive, very wholesome. And uh, I think that it's the ideal song for you to have. You know? It's difficult to play music on television mm -hmm. because not do we have to be concerned with the sound? We have right. to be concerned with what we're going to show at the same time. Right. And better than 19 years of sitting in this chair, I've never <laughs> taken the opportunity mm -hmm. to simply play a specific piece with just the two of us on camera. Right. I'm making an exception. I think the message you have written and have put on this specific piece is well worth the time. Thank you very much. A person who is not into rap music, perhaps, who states that you don't understand it, listen to this piece. Hello? Hello, Mr. Johnson. 
Because we have our own disease and that's ignorant blacks We gotta change our way and educate our mind And come together and stop this black on black crime With love, not hate We gotta love each other before it's too late My brothers, my friends We must realize that we're close to the end What about the kids, the ones that's growing up We gotta stop and think about the things we're showing up Wake up, my people, and make up your mind And try to put a stop to this black on black crime But then again, here's a black lady And for more money She'll be having a baby. A big deal. Well, as you can tell, this is not what I call standard rap music. There's actually music in the background. Yes, definitely. Your, your production company? Definitely. Chocolate Pulse. Chocolate Pulse. Feel the Beat, Jones, uh, Bubba C, Tyrone Williams, Funky D, uh, everybody. Uh, well, we're, uh, we were talking while they were uh, playing the music about the different people that we have coming up. I'm putting out an album uh, that hopefully will be out by February of 92. A lot of people keep telling me, push it up, push it up. But it should be out by February. And we have some dynamic people on the album. Carlton Jenkins, uh, who was destined to be the, one of the rising stars of the 90s. We have April Lampley, uh, the West Sisters, uh, Clarence and Glenn Hards. I mean, there's just some dynamic people on this album. And uh, I want to push that real hard. Uh, we came out this way um, to really you know, set a precedent for those uh, coming up behind us. We don't want to be like anything that you've ever heard in Youngstown. We're going national. That is our goal, and we are all in the absolute council. We deal in absolutes, and uh, we're and absolutely going to make it. You and know? you're extremely a positive group. Definitely. And you're all from the area. All from Youngstown. All from here in White Town. How does one producer album then get it aired nationally? That takes a lot of work. It takes a uh, hard. It's very hard to do, but then again, it's very easy because, uh, like I said before, we being the absolute people that we are, we set goals and then we attain them. Uh, in two weeks' time, we've got our record or our cassette into 10 stores. That's uh, Stedder Fruits Music in Pittsburgh. We have uh, George's Music here in Youngstown, Foster's Creative Concepts down in YSU campus. We have two uh, stores in Cleveland, uh, two live, I'm sorry, that's Akron. We have two stores in Akron, two live music, GNH Music, three stores in Cleveland, Record Exchange, the Record Den, the Record Revolution. And I'm sorry if I'm leaving anybody out, but it's really been moving, you know. And the title of the album? The title of the album is An Incipience, which means the beginning. Culture Logic, the soundtrack to a non-existent And movie. locally in Youngstown and Warren, where can it be acquired? Uh, the album is not out yet. Just a single. Oh, the just that single. I just made, yeah. Uh, the single is just released. So you can see again, we have people in our community who are about that which is good, noble, true, and positive. And they are young people. I'm Carl Bryant. This is Dynamics in Black. I'll be here again next Sunday morning and hope you'll join me. Dynamics in Black. A look at the interests and activities of members of the black community. Dynamics in Black is a weekly presentation of WFMJ.